Hello, people of God. This is Pastor Paul James. Welcome to The Let Out. Hey, beloved, just a few reminders uh, for reflection this week around this issue of uh, igniting your joy. It's so important that we live in joy. And I told you that joy is essentially gladness of heart. Uh, And joy also is clarity of mind. And joy, thirdly, is stillness of soul. It is the idea that I have peace in my soul, that all is well, even if it doesn't seem to be well. That is, that joy is perfect confidence in the competence of God. And so make sure your mind is clear. There are going to be times where your joy wanes. I know mine does. I question myself. I question the meaning of life. I, I question what seems to be this dystopian society. It is so strange to drive to the church building where I've been pastoring for so many years on empty highways and empty streets and I find sadness can subtly creep in on me, and then I have to remind myself, wait a minute, Uh, I have the joy of the Lord, and it is my strength. Uh, Make sure your heart is repentant. If you see yourself sliding and you see yourself uh, falling back into old patterns, repentance is a change of mind and heart, and you got to turn around. Uh, Know that your past is forgiven. God's not dangling anything over you from what you've done in your past. And so there's no reason to be depressed about what went wrong from your past, even if there are still implications of it in your present. And make sure you share experiences. Share your burdens. I've never connected more deeply in my entire marriage than I am right now with my wife. We are going much deeper in companionship in self-disclosure, in self-discovery, and in affirming one another and loving each other deeply. And make sure that your soul is still. You don't need to run around. It's okay to rest. It's okay to take a nap. (laughs) It's okay to take a walk and contemplate what God is doing, even as you're practicing social distancing. And you got to get a fresh perspective. You got to look at things differently. Uh, Nehemiah said, don't grieve. This is not the time to grieve. This is not the time to mourn. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And get creative in your worship. We've put an Ignite Your Worship playlist together on YouTube to help you and facilitate you worshiping the Lord in creative ways, Um, talking to the Lord, singing to the Lord, find ways to renew your focus. It's all about Jesus. And then it's about others. And then it's about yourself. That is essentially what joy is all about. Finally, C.S. Lewis said this years ago. He said that pain is the megaphone that God uses to rouse a deaf world. Pain is the megaphone that God uses to rouse a deaf world. I don't know about you. I'm going to be honest with you. As a pastor, I've been deaf. There's some things I've been missing about God. I've been missing about this world. And uh, I'm listening now. To what the Lord has to say in joy, in joy. And so what are you sad about right now? What is making you sad? What do you think informs your sadness? What are the factors in your life currently that threaten your joy? Perhaps you need to get to the bottom of that. And finally, finally, what might God be saying to you in the midst of what makes you sad? I assure you that at the end of it, And at the core of all of it is the goodness of God. And so today, I want you to remember, ignite your joy. It means that you have gladness of heart. It means that you've got clarity of mind. And it means that you have peace in your soul. Reflect with me and pray with me in the days to come. I love you. May God bless you and heaven smile upon you.